Here beginneth. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise, with the multitude that kept a pilgrim feast. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Open God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night, a song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the breaking of my bones, my enemies reproach me, while they say to me all day long, where is your God? And verse 11 and last, why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, the help of my countenance and my God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here in the name of God's holy word, we know they're already blessed, but we're going to honor them by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world of love time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, saints of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You can do better than that. We've Amen. come to the house of the Lord. Let us stand. Let's give God some worship this morning. We're about to get into the word shortly. Let's give God. Let's change the atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Just open up your mouth. Thank you. 
Challenges come our way. Amen. And we say, God, where are you? Mm. But he's saying to us today, in that still small voice, trust me. Hallelujah. Bible said, they that put the trust in him Hallelujah. shall not be made ashamed. So we can be confident today Amen. that the God whom we serve mm. can be trusted, yes. can be taken amen. at amen. his words. His words are yea and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's just keep our hands in his hands yes. as he leads us from day to day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to um, Hallelujah. talk to us today. Thank you, Lord. And um, I want to use the theme, talk to yourself. Okay. Mm. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Talk, to, talk yourself. to yourself. Yes. Not so long ago, um, if you saw uh, people. Um, talking to themselves as they sat on the bus or on the train walking down the street you'd be forgiven if you thought that they had something wrong upstairs is that right but in this modern day of technology with bluetooth connectivity if you saw someone talking out loud as they walk down the road mm. they would probably have their phone in their pocket yeah. or in their handbag mm. so you would think nothing of it yeah. mm. or you would feel free to talk loud yes because you do that anyway but you wouldn't be looking <laughs> thinking oh they're looking at me and thinking think, I'm think mad because it's acceptable yeah. now that people yeah. walk down the street talking yes. and you yes. wouldn't think that they're talking so to themselves yes. ah. Amen. But when we think about self-talk, an article um, written by uh, somebody in, in, in 2016 said of self-talk, it said, self-talk is something you do naturally through your waking hours. Yes. People are becoming more aware that positive self-talk is a powerful tool for increasing your and more productive. Amen. So it's all right to talk to yourself. Amen. Right. One pastor, uh, David Tripp, who was a, 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 confident, a conference uh, speaker, uh, wrote in one of his gospel journals uh, called New Morning Mercies. It says there that no one is more influential in your life than you are. True. Because no one talks to you more than you do. True. We never stop talking to ourselves. The things you say about you, about God, and life are profoundly important because they form and shape the way you then respond to the things that God then places on your plate. Amen. So whether we realize it or not, <coughs> it is not, you know, self-talk is, is something that we do constantly. We do it naturally, yes, you know, uh, on, on a daily basis. And we might laugh at other people and we hear other people talking to themselves, but we do it ourselves. Yes. Right. And sometimes I, I'm in the house and I, and I hear that, my wife said, that husband of mine. <laughs> She's cussing me, you know, and I, I think I'm not hearing her, but, but I'm hearing her, I'm hearing her. <laughs> I don't tell her I'm hearing her, but I'm hearing her, I'm hearing her. <laughs> but when we work on, so you know, on a project or something, you know, we talk ourselves through different methods and different ways of, of going about achieving our, our objective. But when we look at the psalmist in Psalms 42 that we read for our text today, 
we get a sense of um, um, uh, depression and discouragement uh, that are set in for the psalmist. And uh, he may have had many reasons uh, for, for, for feeling th that, that way. And as we look through the scriptures, as we look at the verse 2 and the verse 6, the, the psalmist is some distance away from the house of God. And he's being taunted by unbelievers. And he has uh, memories of better days when things were not as bad as they, they are now. And many of us could attest to that and say, you know, mm. things are worse today than they were yesterday mm. and so forth. And um, the, 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 the psalmist was feeling the, the, the absence of um, um, blessings, spiritual blessings that he previously experienced. And he's uh, uh, talking about the, the trials of life. And so there's a sense uh, of desperation here and a longing uh, for God, a longing to be again in the house of God, having fellowship with other believers. But the psalmist paused uh, from his painful memories uh, to challenge his own soul. And he didn't, he didn't so much give in to his feelings of spiritual depression, discouragement, and, and discouragement. Instead, he challenged them and brought them before God. And he said, uh, to those feelings, those emotions. He says, why art thou cast down? Amen. Why art thou disquieted? Yes. Yes. Hope yes. in God. Amen. Yes. So he will come through again because he has done it before. And that's how we talk to ourselves. That we, we don't give in to those feelings. We remind ourselves that the same God who brought us through challenging times yes. yesterday is the same God who is able to bring us through challenging Amen. times today. So you talk to yourself and you say, get a grip. God has not changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So hope in God. Hallelujah. So the psalmist doesn't surrender to his feelings as, as we are often tempted to do, to, to give in to the feelings that, that present themselves before us. Mm. And sometimes we, we, we don't feel like uh, uh, praising God at the time, just like the psalmist, because this is where he was at. He didn't yeah. feel like it at the time. Yet mm. he was confident that as he did what he, he, he could do to, to, to direct his hope to God, he declared that praise would then come forth. I don't feel like praising him right now, but the time will come when I will feel like praising him again. But even though I don't feel like praising him, he is still God Amen. and he is still worthy of my praise. So he declared, I shall yet praise him. Because he looks forward to a time when there will be a change in his position and there will be a change in his condition. And praise will then flow again freely from his lips. But you know sometimes when you're going through, praise doesn't easily come. Sometimes it's a battle. It's a struggle. You have to talk to yourself. You have to overcome this. Despite what I'm feeling, I know God is real. Despite how I'm feeling, I know God has not changed. Because despite how I'm feeling, God is still able. Yes. That's how you need to uh, talk to, to yourself. Amen. And so we're reminded uh, of the Jeremiah in the book of, uh, of Lamentations. Mm. Jeremiah uh, encountered a similar situation to the psalmist. He had lamented over uh, the sin of the people and uh, the promise of God's judgment. And if you know Jeremiah, he, he constantly warned, the, he was the, known as the, the weeping prophet, he constantly warned the people and the, the people ignored him. So he found himself going through a similar situation as, as the psalmist. And he echoes in this prayer, he says, I have forgotten what happiness looks like. So I say, my endurance has perished, so as my hope from God. That's Lamentation 3, 17 to 18. But despite the depth of the sorrow and feelings of helplessness, he maintained, or he reminded himself of what he knew to be true. Mm -hmm. He reminded himself that there is hope after mm -hmm. all. Right. So he declared in the verse 21 to 24 of Lamentation chapter three, he says, yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. Mm -hmm. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh every morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The question is, do you talk? to yourself. Mm. Yeah. Amen. When you are fearful, mm. when you are discouraged, mm. when you are depressed, do you command your soul yes. to trust Amen. in the Lord? Amen. When your affections are low, mm. do you command your heart 
to bless the Lord. Mm. When all around you yes, seems to be mind. giving way and falling apart and your, mm. your back is against the wall, do you tell your spirit mm. to be still and know oh, that he is God? Is Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, sir, yes, sir, Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. So the psalmist mm. that knowledge was discouraged due to, as I said, being exiled mm. from the temple in Jerusalem. He was unable to, to go to that place of worship, the place that he knew and was uh, 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 used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was during this time, the time of, of, of uh, holy days, uh, where the nation would uh, often remember all that God had, had done for them, where they would be observing such festivals as the Passover, as the Day of Atonement, and First Festi Harvest, etc., etc. But we will acknowledge today that um, depression is one of the most common things uh, suffered by many people today. Mm -hmm. and, and this was probably the, the, the position of the psalmist, he was probably depressed mm -hmm. uh, at this particular time. And uh, there are many situations today that we face that have uh, the potential to cause us to feel depressed yeah. mm -hmm. and discouraged. And if we're not careful, when we just look around what's happening in our world today, it's enough to cause yeah. us True. to be depressed. Yes. Yeah. Amen. But thank God that we have a hope. Mm -hmm. So many of us are hopeless, but we Amen. have yes. a hope. Yes. Yes. But one of the antidotes for depression is to meditate on the record of God's goodness right. to Come his on. people. Right. Yeah. Yes. The one of the songs says, when I think of the, the goodness, goodness of Jesus, of Jesus yes. and what he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank God for saving me. Sometimes it, it, it's good to remind ourselves of the goodness of God towards us, especially because sometimes, you know, we cannot see God at work. Let's be honest. And we do ask the question, God, where are you in the midst of what I'm going through right now? Yes. That's when we have to remind yes. ourselves yes. Yes. that the God who delivered in the past Amen. is still it's able still to deliver today. today. Yes. That the God who provided yesterday is yes. still able to provide today. Yes. That the God who healed yesterday is still God our healer today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And these are things we need to be talking Hallelujah. to ourselves about and encouraging ourselves. Yes. And, and as we do this, it, it will take our mind of our present uh, situations and circumstances. And it will cause us to, to focus on God's ability to help us rather than our ability to help ourselves. Right. Amen. Right. And therefore, in a time of trouble, we speak to ourselves and we declare like the psalmist in Psalms 121, mm. verse 1 and 2, where it says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills. unto the hills from where, from where, where cometh, my, cometh help. my help. My help come from, from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. So there are two levels of talk. There is positive self-talk and there is negative self-talk. Amen. Negative self-talk often takes place when we are struggling and find ourselves in, in difficulty. We tell ourselves, I'm a failure. I'm not good enough. I can't do this. Everyone else is, is better than me. I'm never going to overcome this. I'm never going to pass that exam. Yeah. And, and, and that's how we, we, we talk to ourselves, this negative self-talk. Mm. And the Bible says, as a man thinketh mm. in his heart, so is he. So, so is he. Amen. But this is when we, we take captivity, captivity, every thought mm. that exalts itself above the name of Jesus Christ. So, 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 so when those negative thoughts come our way, we counteract them by what the Word of God says Amen. about you yes. and about yes. your situation. Yes. So we bring to, into captivity all those negative thoughts and counteract it with the Word of God. So when we look at positive self-talk, positive self-talk says, I'm not going to let this thing beat me. Right. Mm. Positive self-talk says, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I will pass that exam. I will overcome this situation. Amen. Positive talk is when you talk to yourself and declare the word of God and says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. So whenever we find ourselves uh, having uh, negative self-talk, begin to, to speak truth, the truth of God's word. Build yourself up. Preach to yourself. Mm -hmm. Reminding yourself that there is hope yes. and that Jesus Christ is still yes. on the throne. Yes. Amen. 
He has not been dethroned. Mm -hmm. There's nobody greater than him. Amen. He is still King of Kings. Yes. He is still Lord of Lords. He is still the great I am. He is the I am that I am. And that means, the I am that I am means that I will become anything you need me to be when you need me to be. And that's, that's powerful. Amen. Just right. declare God, you are the I am God. When you remind yourself of that, then you can adapt that to any situation and say, God, I'm sick, but you are the God who heals. God, I am in need of finance, but you are God who provides. He will become whatever you need to be when you need it. That's a, that's a message on its own. That's a message on its own. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. So the psalmist recognized his emotional state mm. and he identified his present feelings and he spoke to himself and he did that why he recognized his state at the because sometimes you know people are, are, often, are, are depressed and they don't recognize that they're depressed mm. True. True. but the psalmist recognized his state mm. his emotional state and he spoke to himself why are you cast down Oh my soul, why are you disquieted within me? Amen. Get a grip in my word. Get a grip. Pull yourself together. Shake it off. Hope in God, for I will yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. Imagine we as believers who serve a living God, we have a hope. Imagine a man outside of God and Christ. Who has no hope at all? The psalmist says, "I have somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel His presence near me every day, and though trials overtake me along life's route, I have somebody with me. That is the assurance of the believer. Even though I don't feel the presence of God in the midst of my situation, I know He's there because He promised never to leave me nor to forsake. Lo, I am with you always, even unto." To the end of the age. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalms chapter 103, it's an ideal model of commanding our souls in times of discouragement and depression. For it begins and ends with the psalmist's exaltation uh, to his own soul to bless the Lord. There it declares, bless the Lord, O my soul and all that is within me. So, so understand that our circumstances can often blind us to the present, the present working of God in, in our lives. But this is when we need to remind ourselves of what the Lord has done, as I said in, in, in the past, his past mercies, his past provisions, past blessings and, and so forth. But when we look, you know, the psalmist spoke to his soul, and when we, when we, when we look at the soul, the soul has, has, has uh, three parts. That's mind, which is the intellect, the will, which is the emotion, um, and, um, you know, mind, will, and emotion, sorry. Mm. But the, 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 if we look at, for example, our, 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 our will, our will will say, um, uh, I'm not going to church today. Mm. I'm staying at home. And our intellect will say, it's not right, it's not normal to be happy when things ain't going right. And our emotions will say, I don't feel like praying, I don't feel like reading the word, mm. I don't feel like worshipping. And this is when we, we, we speak to ourselves and we declare like the song, I don't know if you know that song where, where it says, you know, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. That's, that's a declaration to yourself. I don't feel like worshiping. I don't feel like going to church. I don't feel like reading the word. But regardless of how I'm feeling, I recognize my emotional state right now and how I'm feeling. But I declare to myself today that I will always Amen. worship. Amen. I will not be silent. I will always worship. As long as there's breath in my body, I will always worship. It's not about me, but it's because God is worthy of my prayer. No matter what situation I find, my, it doesn't make God any less worthy. It doesn't make him any less God. And I want to say today, no matter 
what situation you find yourself, nothing takes your God by surprise. Amen. Nothing takes your God Amen. by surprise. Amen. Nothing phases your God. Mm -hmm. And He's only too ready to come to your rescue, to Amen. come to your aid. Hallelujah. God is in our corner. God is in your corner. Amen. You gotta remember that at all times. So this is where we need to take authority over our souls and speak to it. David took authority over his soul in speaking to himself. He declared, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Hallelujah. All that is within me, he says, my mind, my will, my emotions, bless the Lord. I will bring all these things together to bless the name of the Lord. I might not feel like it, but I will bless the Lord. I might be sick in my body, but I will be blessed. I will bless the Lord. I might be financially embarrassed, but I will bless the Lord. Things might not be going right in my family, but I will bless the Lord. I might be unemployed, but I will bless the Lord. And I'm doing it because God is worthy. He's worthy. Because he is still God. And even if you can't remember, uh, 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 recognize things today, you know that he's been there for you in the past. Yes. So you continue to praise him Amen. because you recognize that he is God and worthy of praise. Amen. And so we see the progression of the psalmist. We see the move, the transition. A heart that may have been faltering is now soaring. See David's heart filled with gratitude as he thinks of the goodness of God, unable to contain his emotions. He says, bless the Lord. See. We started off um, at the beginning at, at where he's at a position of depression, where he was somewhat discouraged. But here now he's saying, bless the Lord, oh my bless soul, Lord. all that is within me, bless, bless his holy name. Amen. He has done great, great things, bless his holy, holy name. name. Amen. See, when we talk to ourselves, we are reminding ourselves of what God has done in the past. Amen. And therefore, we must ensure we know what the Bible says in order to exalt our souls. Amen. That's, it. that's why when things are going right, stay in the Word. Amen. When things are going right, stay on your knees because you know yes. the time comes when you don't feel like reading the Word, you don't feel like praying. But it's in those times yes. uh, when you feel dry that you draw on what yes. you've already uh, yes. sold yes. on the yes. inside of you. Yes. So when you face those challenges, the Holy Spirit of God brings back to your memory yes. that which you have implanted in the first place. And yes. therefore you are able to dig yes. deep yes. and talk to yourself and build yourself up Amen. based on the word of Almighty oh. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when the days are dark, don't allow your soul to dictate but command your soul to bless the Lord. Psalms that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can talk yourself out of depression and you can talk yourself out of distress and discouragement. Many of us have, had, have experiences where we've planned to do something mm. and then we think about it, we, we churn over in our minds and we think about what could go wrong, what, what's the worst thing that can happen. And by the time we finish talking, churning over in our minds, we've talked ourselves out Perfect. of doing it. Amen. <laughs> we've talked ourselves out yes. of doing it. But um, just as we can talk ourselves out uh, of, of, of doing something equally, we can just mm. talk ourselves out of the situations that we find ourselves in. Mm. And we do that by applying the, the word of God. Mm. But the, the Job, uh, in Job chapter 9 verse 27, he said, I will forget my complaint. Mm. I will leave off my heaviness mm. and comfort myself. Mm. This is what Job is saying. And many of us know what Job went through. Yeah. The challenges and trials that, that he had. But it says, I will forget my complaint. I will leave off my heaviness and comfort myself. In other words, you're, you're making a conscious decision to get out of the situation that you'll find yourself in. Whether depression, discouragement or whatever. You're making a conscious decision to comfort yourself and you do that by applying the, the word of God. 
we're reminded um, of, of, of David. Um, many of us, you know, the story of David when he was uh, on the run uh, from Saul. Yes. And he, he linked up with the Philistines um, um, in order to um, protect himself and uh, be safe from the threats that Saul was making to him. There came a time where, where the Philistines were going to do battle with, with the Israelites. And um, God is amazing how, how, how God works. Because if David had uh, maintained uh, company with them at that time, then he would have to fight against his own people. But how God works is God allowed one of the, the commanders in the Philistine army to, to suspect that if David is with us, there's no guarantee he's going to fight for us. He might turn and fight against us. Okay. Yeah. So they sent him packing. And at that time, he was living in a place called Ziklag. And as they made their way back to Ziklag, three days' journey, they saw smoke bellowing out. As they got nearer, no children came out to greet them. No wife came out to greet them. They couldn't hear any noise of cattle or anything like that. Why? Because the Amalekites had invaded and burnt the place to the ground, taking all their cattle, their children, their wives, and so forth. And the men that, that, that were, 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 were David's men, who you know would have had his, his back in battle, turned against him and mm. talked about stoning him. Mm. So one can imagine how David would have felt at this time. My own men, mm. who I have fought with, mm. men who I believe would have my back, are now thinking of stoning me. So, so David was in a, a, a difficult position. But what I want to bring to your attention is the fact that despite what David was facing and his emotion at that time, the Bible says that David encouraged himself yes. Yes. Come on. in yes. the Lord. Amen. Imagine, yes. 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 when you find yourself in a situation like that, yes. you have to dig deep, you know. Yes. Deep, deep, yes. deep. Yes. To be able to say, despite the threats, despite what's happening, I'm going to encourage myself. But how do you do that? You remind yourself that God is my shield and my weapon, my defense, my God. I'm surrounded. The angel of the Lord encamps around them that fear Him and are able to deliver. So this is how you have to build yourself. So you can imagine how David built himself up at this time. So we are able, if we dig deep enough, to encourage ourselves in the Lord. So the Bible says David encouraged himself in the power and providence of God and in the promises of God and in the faithfulness of God's ability to keep him. So he would have encouraged himself and we can encourage ourselves with these uh, various scripture verses. Psalms 41, 46 verse 1 says, God is my refuge and my strength. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be displayed for I, dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 26 verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed on you because you trust in him. And we're reminded about that we can trust God. We were reminded today. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes before you Amen. and he will never leave Amen. nor forsake you. This is David encouraging himself in the Lord. Hallelujah. The woman with the issue of blood. I'm just going to give you some examples quickly. The woman with the issue of blood in Mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 34. Suffered for 12 years with her disease, with her uh, issue. Mm -hmm. She was broken. She had spent all her money on the various uh, mm -hmm. doctors and, and, and so forth. And none of them could help her. The Bible said that she, she grew even worse. She was a loner due to her condition because she couldn't um, mix with anybody else. It's just like this coronavirus. This, she had to self-isolate. Right? So she couldn't be in a crowd. So she was quite desperate. Very desperate. Um, but in her desperation, she broke, you know, she took authority over her soul. She spoke Amen. to herself. Amen. For she said, if I could but touch the hem 
of his garment, I shall be made whole. Oh, you know, she had to think about this because it was against the law. She could not go amongst people because of her mm. condition. But she was desperate. And sometimes when you get desperate, Amen. Yes. the certain things you do when you get desperate, protocol sometimes have to go out of the window when you're desperate. She heard that Jesus was passing by and she was not going to let this opportunity pass her by. So she talked to herself and said, if I could but touch the hem of his garment, deliverance will be mine today. Amen. Twelve years she suffered, but if I can touch Jesus today, I will be delivered. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So talking to yourself has the ability to change your condition emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's able to, uh, to, to change your perspective, your outlook, and how you see things. It's able to change your position. And so you're able to move on and progress in your life. Self-talk is very, mm. very important. Yes. yes. So how do we encourage ourselves? We encourage ourselves by taking authority over our souls and speaking the word of God and declaring mm. like the psalmist that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help, my help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's all right to talk to yourself. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Whether you talk quietly or whether you talk loudly, it's necessary. Yes. Necessary. Yes. And sometimes you have to dig deep. And when you're desperate, you don't care who hears you. That's the man. When you need deliverance, when you need a breakthrough, you don't care who's listening. That's right. In it, sweetheart. Yes. When it comes to me, I don't mind. God is still <laughs> so it is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to know the self Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him how I prove him more and more Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus all the grace to trust, to trust him Amen Conclude. Hallelujah. Questions for us on the for reflection. What are some of the things that you say to you that stimulate hope, faith, and confidence? What are some of the things you say to you that stimulate fear, anxiety, and discouragement? How can you become a more biblical counselor to your own soul? There's some things to, to consider and reflect. Oh, yeah. And so, in conclusion, I want to give you a point. Often, it is downright essential for mental health. Becoming fluent in positive, healthy, truthful, scriptural-based or scriptural-saturated internal dialogue should be a high priority for all of us. Talking to yourself is an important life skill that requires practice, careful consideration and perseverance. So no one is more influential in your life than you are. Yes. Because no one talks to you as much as you talk to yourself. Amen. Many of us talk to ourselves naturally without even realizing it. Yes. We discuss things with ourselves, weighing up the pros and cons before coming to a decision. Mm. We say things to ourselves that will shape our desires, actions, and even what we believe. Mm. So what are you saying to you about God and your circumstances today? Do your words stimulate faith? Do your words stimulate hope? Do your words stimulate courage? Or does your self-talk stimulate doubt, discouragement, and fear? Do you remind yourself that God is near? Or do you reason within yourself that given your circumstances, that your God is far away, that your God Amen. is distant? How does your self-talk motivate and encourage you or discourage you? That's the question that we need to be asking ourselves today. 
So what we've seen with the psalmist, they was able to move from a position of this depression and discouragement. We see a change in his position and we see a change in his condition. So that tells us that no matter what situation we find ourselves in, we don't have to stay there. No. We can take authority over our souls, encourage ourselves, build ourselves up, and take ourselves out of the position of depression and discouragement by declaring the word of God over our situations. Hallelujah. So in this closing moment, I just wonder if there's anybody here today who feels that they they need prayer for whatever reason the presence of the Lord is here we've sensed the presence of God in our midst today in a very special way and if you are here and you feel that you need prayer this afternoon I'm too glad to pray with you you can raise, indicate by the raising of your hand if you feel that you need prayer today Maybe that you'll find yourself right now in a difficult situation. You're struggling with certain situations in your life right now. And, and for you at this moment in time, God seems so far away. But today he's reminded us that we can trust him. Amen. He's reminding us today Hallelujah. that even though you don't feel yes. me, Amen. my word tells you that I will never leave you. Amen. Amen. You. Hallelujah. you may be feeling rock, rock bottom Amen. at the moment feeling heavy and burdened down and the enemy wants to keep you there but today deliverance is in the house today you can be lifted up from your position of depression and discouragement because God is here Amen. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah let's bow our heads hallelujah thank you Jesus. hallelujah thank you, Jesus. blessed be your name thank blessed be your name hallelujah Father we give you thanks and praise thank for your presence in this place today. We thank you, Father God, for the way you have spoken to us and encouraged and challenged us this Lord's Day. Reminding us, Lord God, that we have the authority to speak to our souls. Reminding us, Father God, that you know self-talk is healthy. That there are times when we do need to talk to ourselves and to command our souls to bless you, command our souls to worship and exalt your name because you are worthy, you are God. No matter what we're going through, you are still God. You are still on the throne. You are still King of Kings. You are still Lord of Lords. Father, I pray for those today who may be feeling discouraged, may be feeling cast down like the psalmist and are saying to themselves today, where is my God? Would you remind them today, Father God, that you are ever present? Would you remind them today that you will never leave them nor forsake them? I pray, Father God, that the enemy will never take advantage of their position right now. But I pray that they will be able to dig deep, Father God, and command their souls to bless you regardless of how they feel. They will command their souls to bless the Lord. They will declare, I will bless the Lord at all times. They will declare, I will not be silent. I will always worship you. Father, we thank you for being near to us today. Thank you for being our present help in the time of our troubles, in the times of our difficulties. Thank you, Father God, that you are unchanging. Thank you that you are the I am God in whom we can trust today. So, Father, minister unto the needs of your people. Cause them to sense your presence in a very tangible way today. Father, as we go throughout the week that is ahead of us, May we go through this week, Lord, knowing that we are not alone, that you are with us. I declare that we will be victorious throughout this week because we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. May we walk as victors with our heads held up high because we know in whom we believe and we are persuaded that you are able to keep that which we have committed to you against the day of your return. So we give to you all the praise, we give to you all the glory that you are worthy of. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
remind ourselves of the price that was paid for our redemption. That he who had no sin took sin upon himself for us. And that we who, the Bible says, were sometime afar off have been brought nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so today we declare his blood is on my soul.
that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of us. that he bore, the crown of thorns over the body's head, Hallelujah. so as a crown of thorns and a spear in his side, all the pain that should have been mine, those rusty nails were meant for me, but Christ he took them and he let me go, Hallelujah. 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 After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This is a cup, the New Testament in my blood. This do ye. As often as ye drink it, in remembrance of me, drink ye all. same blood. We can plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our lives, over our families, over our situations and know that change will take place because the blood has not and will never lose its power. There is power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Glory to God. As we go from this week, let us remember that there is power Precious working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. So apply the blood today. Problems in your workplace, apply the blood. Problems in your home, apply the blood. Problems in your relationship, apply the blood of Jesus Christ. Because it never and will never lose. God bless you today. God bless you. Chantel, she was already between one and two years old. 
and I took them to the market because I had to do some shopping and I remember I said to her because I was stopped at a stall and I said to her hold on to the pram because back then we didn't have those long cords that you could yes. tie yes. yourself yes. to yes. the children yes. so you had to just say to them you know hold on and stay there I said to her hold on to the pram and stay there while I was um, talking to the assistant when I finished getting what I get in I looked round no Chantel oh. and I thought oh Lord <laughs> I thought, oh Lord have mercy, I've lost my husband's child. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Amen. So you know what? I reached desperation because in my mind, what I could think of is that if she gets to the top of that market, there's a main road and she would not know how to cross it. So I said, Lord, you have to help me here. And I stood in the middle of that market and I bawled all the time and I said, Chantel! And people looked at me, of course, they're gonna look thinking I'm going crazy. And I said, I'm looking for a little girl she had on, whatever she had on. And they said to me, we saw a little girl heading in. That the thing is, I couldn't run because I had a pram with me. And you know when you're in a market, it's full. So I had to take my time with a pram to try and get through. And when I went further up, I still didn't see her. And I know there was a police station there, and I thought, should I go in the police station and report her? But I thought, if I go in there, the time I'm sitting in there, she could be going further. So I thought, no, I'm gonna look first, and if I can't find her, then I will go to the police station. So I went further up, couldn't find her, so I stood in the middle of that market, and I followed her name again. Chantel! And then somebody said, they said, we saw a little girl going in that direction. So when I moved further up, I saw a crowd of people and Chantel was in the middle. And they was asking her, where's your mommy? Where's your mommy? Chantel had no fear at all. She didn't even realise she was lost. And she had no fear. And all I could hear her saying to the crowd of people, my name is Chantel. My name is Chantel. So I just give God thanks. I rang my husband right at that moment and I said to him, I nearly had a heart attack and I'm coming home. I never got to do the shopping. I can't do the shopping because I've had a shock. So I had to, I just took the kids and went straight back home. So I know what it's like to be desperate yeah. and sometimes that's a stage we have to reach where we don't Hold care what's around right. us, who's around us, Mom. you have to do what you've got to do. Mom. And thank God yeah. she's standing here, yeah. giving God yeah. praise and thank God. Yeah. We're going to sit when I think of the goodness of Jesus because believe you me, God has been good and what he has done for me. See Sean.
into your house. Your word says, prove me now and see where I, I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you shall not have room to receive. We thank you for everything you have given us and for everything we bless you back with. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise. We thank you this afternoon, we give you glory. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. 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 